So well, I'm, I'm curious because you said that it's an AI driven ETF. So you're strictly relying on AI technology to make these types of decisions. I guess how much is there this human element of uh, of the human involvement? And is there any rationale, I guess, behind some of the moves that have been made here over the last several weeks with your funds? Absolutely. So uh, in terms of how we construct our portfolios, you're absolutely right. We use artificial intelligence uh, purely. So uh, now, Obviously, humans are at the you know construction of the model. So we're you know there we have experts here in in house that are helping to drive you know what data points are, are are made and what types of models are being used and and those sorts of things as we as we research more and more. But once the model is made and trained, it just takes in new data every month and then based on its training, it makes its, its decisions and we don't. Uh, you know, change those. So uh, yeah. yeah, when it when it came through that Nvidia, you know, had dropped down that much, you know, there was no human that said, "Oh no, that's the wrong way to go." Yeah, uh, we need to we need to change that. Uh, in terms of the rationale uh, behind it, you know, uh, that actually is one of the the bigger challenges of of artificial intelligence is that it is somewhat of a black box because we are you know using these deep learning models that are looking at very complex relationships you know, uh, relationships of relationships of data. And so it, it becomes a little bit difficult to, uh, you know, understand that. But uh, one kind of breakthrough we've seen recently, uh, not exactly in QRFT yet, uh, but the recent fund that we launched uh, in November with LGIA Research, um, that fund has an element of using large language models, which is basically like ChatGPT. And so now we've been able to, uh, LGI Research, uh, has actually been able to produce a report uh, looking at why the the AI model picked the stocks that it did. So uh, it's actually quite interesting. Uh, we're actually just now starting to put that up on our on our website for investors to go look at. And we think this is really a you know really the next step in in AI innovation for you know uh, investment decisions with AI. What's the math that the AI is using that investors are not using to suss out Nvidia? So I, I think that, you know, the way that artificial intelligence looks at the market is very different from a human. Uh, one, we're just looking at it purely from the data perspective, but the way that we're able to look at, you know, generally in the past, when we look at either fundamental managers or when we look at quant, traditional quant managers, uh, the, the models typically are quite linear. And so what we're able to do with artificial intelligence is as again, we're looking at the relationship to data, but we're looking at the relationships to the relationships to the data, and we get this kind of non-linear look at the market uh, that a human is not able to see. And I think that's what makes this so unique. And I think this is what is is really promising for investors is that you're getting a very different look at the market that, in your portfolio than you would from a you know traditional human active manager uh, out there. All right, Weldon Rice, Craft Technologies, head of AI ETFs. Very interesting. Thanks so much for joining us.